Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS. Edge computing is a method of optimizing cloud computing systems by performing data processing at the edge of the network, near the source of the data. The edge can impact as much as 50% of cloud performance, where constant disruptions demand superior edge services, starting with DNS. Here, the authoritative DNS name servers are responsible for providing answers to recursive DNS name servers with the IP mapping of the intended website. Therefore, a high-performance, authoritative DNS with global response consistency is indeed critical. Hi, can you tell me more about how the DNS works? Domain Name System, or DNS, is a hierarchical decentralized naming system for computers, services, or other resources connected to the internet or a private network. When an end user types www.example.com into their web browser and hits return, client, computer, smartphone, etc., checks its local DNS cache. Does it know the answer to www.example.com already? If so, use this cached answer. If the cache doesn't know the answer, next step. Client queries their assigned recursive DNS server, likely their ISP, for www.example.com. Recursive checks its cache to see if it knows the answer. If so, returns it to client. If the cache doesn't know the answer, next step. Recursive then performs several queries. Each one can be skipped if already cached. Queries root name servers to find out if they know the answer to www.example.com. Root name servers return the name servers for the top-level domain, TLD. TLD name servers return the answer for example.com name servers, oraclecloud.net. OracleCloud.net name servers return the answer for www.example.com. Recursive then returns the final www.example.com answer to client. Client connects to the IP address contained within the DNS answer. Oh, I see. While it seems like a detailed process, it happens in milliseconds. What is Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS? Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS is a highly scalable, global anycast domain name system, DNS network, that assures high site availability and low latency, resulting in a superior end-user experience connecting to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, third-party, and private assets. What is anycast, and how is it beneficial? An Anycast network utilizes the same IP address for all the Anycast POPs in the network. This means that an Anycast POP in South America has the same IP address as an Anycast POP in Asia. This is based on the fastest response time, so will typically be the closest, but may not be due to current internet conditions. When a DNS query is sent, even though all the DNS servers have the same IP address, the request is sent to a specific DNS server based on routing protocol, network health, proximity to the server's locations, etc. The Anycast network provides lower latency, a basic level of load balancing, and resiliency to be able to handle outages or heavy traffic with minimal impact to the customer. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS network supports Anycast point of presence POPs distributed around North America, South America, Europe, and Asia-Pacific. By configuring Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS, enterprise and business customers can support DNS resolution for various kinds of assets, such as Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute and Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Storage, as well as third-party and private assets. Customers can also manage DNS records, which are domain names mapped to IP addresses. Domain names can be cloud or non-cloud resources. TTL, time to live, is a setting for each DNS record that specifies how long a resolver is supposed to cache or remember the DNS query before the query expires and a new one needs to be done. 
Can you tell me about the list of DNS records that are supported by Oracle Cloud Infrastructure? Sure. Here is a subset of the common record types that Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS supports. A, or address record. Quad A, or IPv6 address record. C name, or canonical name record. MX, or mail exchange record. TXT, or text record. PTR, or pointer record. SOA, or start of authority record. SRV, or service locator. NS, or name server record. In addition, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS supports an alias record type which is specific to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS. It can be used to map to various Oracle Cloud Infrastructure resources, like compute, network, database, or storage, third-party or private assets. The alias record acts similar to a CNAME record, with the difference being that it can be at the apex record of a zone and is not visible to external resolvers. Alias record types support only A and quad A queries. Any DNS query is resolved to the mapped asset. For example, if example.com is queried, the alias record would resolve to the mapped asset. For example, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Service Asset. Alias records also help by not having to map a record to a specific IP address, as IP addresses associated with certain assets could dynamically change due to various conditions. By default, the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS service supports up to 25,000 resource records per zone. What other functions does the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS solution offer? The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS solution offers a complete set of functions for zone management within the user interface. The following functions are available. Create and manage zones. Create and manage records. Import or upload zone files. Save and publish changes. View, sort, and filter views of zones and records. Reporting, total queries by zone, total queries by tenant. To supplement your existing primary DNS infrastructure to increase the availability of name resolution, there is secondary DNS that operates in an always-on manner. When an end user's recursive server initiates a DNS request, both the existing DNS service and the secondary DNS will respond as soon as they receive the request. Whichever response reaches the recursive server first will be passed back to the end user, completing their request. All domain information will continue to be managed within the primary DNS service in the same manner in which this information is configured today. This information will then be synchronized with the secondary service using standard protocols to ensure both solutions are returning the same information to end users. Can Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS be added as a secondary provider to my existing DNS service? Yes. In most cases, secondary DNS means that it can be deployed with a customer's own or other vendor's DNS service for improved availability. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS can be deployed as either the primary or secondary DNS server. Restrictions are related to which third-party DNS vendor is acting as primary. Some of the larger cloud providers offering DNS service do not support this capability. How do I get started with Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS? From the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Console, Select Networking from the top navigation bar. Select DNS under Networking. This brings you to the Manage DNS Zones page. From the Manage DNS Zones page, click Add Zone. Select Method Type, Manual, Import. Enter a zone name. Select Zone Type, Primary, Secondary. Click Add Zone. Zone is created and can be verified from the Manage DNS Zones page. The Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS service supports up to 1,000 zones per tenant. From the Manage DNS Zones page, 
Select a zone to view record details for that zone. Zone details will show the list of records for that zone. Select Add Record to add new record. Click Publish Changes to update zone with new record details. Default NS and SOA records are automatically generated when a zone is created. Domains will need to be delegated to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS as delegating your zones or domains enables queries to be properly informed of the authoritative name server's location. How do I delegate my domain to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS? Domains can be delegated to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS from the Domain Registrar's Self-Service Portal. Click Overview. Click Customer Account Info to access the information. Copy the four name servers. Note, it is very important to add NS records for all four name servers at your domain's registrar. Log into your domain registrar's self-service portal and append an NS record for each name server in your domain. Wait 72 hours before changing or deleting your previous DNS service. During this time, queries may be answered by either service. Any discrepancies between the two zones could cause unexpected results for your end users. You can check the DNS resolution for your domain by entering your domain name in the Name field and pressing Enter. Thanks for the overview. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS really makes it easy to manage my DNS and other Oracle Cloud Infrastructure services through a common console with a single set of credentials. Very well said. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS plays an important role when domains and zones are needed to be exposed via Internet for DNS resolution with fast response to DNS changes. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.